Hello and welcome to this tutorial on hair blending. As you can see here we have dark and light hair against a roughly uniform background of trees. In this tutorial we're going to use patches and specialist blending to pull out hair detail that we could not do so before. Now we're going to mask the face and hair with keep mask. We have to make sure that the keep mask is close enough to the edge but still within the body of hair and not contaminated by background colors. That will be sorted out using blend mask. Now we're going to fill in the rest of the face. using a local brush one of the things I like to do after making a big mask selection is to clean the mask of any bits left behind using the clean tool see the pixels around the cheeks near their hair disappear now we're going to work on the blend mask just to remind you Blend mask should cover all the foreground contaminated by background colors, like the hair here. But make sure that blend mask does not go too far either into the foreground or the background, otherwise it won't work. See how close to the hairline we keep. A trick here when painting one mask against another is to protect your blend mask by turning on protect mask. See here. And then painting the keep mask in the gap, thereby preserving the blend mask selection, like that. Now we're going to paint the background mask. and making sure the protect blend mask is on to make the task easier okay let's make our first pass of the cutout as you see here there is serious spill along two parts of the hair to deal with this we have to use a specialist blending in patches For hair, I personally like to use brush patches because you can get an accurate foreground and background selection either side of an edge. Make sure you have foreground and background selections at all times while creating a brush patch, but not too much, otherwise you'll be calculating the wrong colors. We're now going to use the edge blending in patch properties to see if we can improve upon our original blending. Turn this on in the Patch Properties window and either select Preview from there or right click and select it from the menu. Now it's calculating. You can see here that blending has improved but we have a color swap in one area. This is due to not enough foreground selection. We must adjust the keep mask and bring it closer to the edge of the hairline. Here we go. That's it. And then a bit of blend mask just at the back as well just at the top there. Now we can preview it again and it should have gone perfectly, yes. Now we need to create a patch for the last piece at the bottom. Again use edge blending from patch properties.
up and we have a nice cutout. You see how we've preserved both the in-focus sharp pairs and out-of-focus ones too. So here's the original. And here's the cutout. There will be more tutorials, including hair. Be sure to check them out. And thanks very much.